for two million. Can you retire on six thousand a month? Uh, I like this one. How do I retire with no money? I like that one. Hey guys, welcome back. Retire with less. My trademark series, right? Um, today we're going to look at obviously the monthly retire with less uh, series, um, and you know I usually go on my once a month rants about how much do you really need to retire, right? And what the experts tell you. And it's amazing, right? Because nobody can answer that question. You can't, I, I did a Google search. I'll share with you my search right here. And um, you cannot answer that question from the outside. Only you can answer that question. Now the answer is, I'll give you the answer. I have the answer of how much do you need to retire? Okay. Could be anywhere from zero to millions. Okay. That's the answer. It could be zero. It could be millions. Now you're talking to GW. How can you retire off zero? People get social security, right? My mother-in-law, when she retired, she collected social security had no savings. Yes. Key though. She paid off her house. That's key. Um, but other than that, she lived on her social security check, which amounted to $800 per month. So how much do you need to retire? How much do you need to have saved up to retire? Anywhere from zero to millions. <laughs> So uh, that's, that's, you can't answer that question, uh, by a Google search, right? You have to come up with your own conclusion and you really, to really answer that for yourself is you really need to look at what your expenses are going to be in retirement until you have an idea of that number. You can't be over here trying to figure out how much you need. You have to know that figure, at least a ballpark, right? And then you can, you can uh, reverse engineer that, right? To, to figure out, okay, how much do I need? Where's my sources of income coming from? Where's my shortfall? Do I even have a shortfall? Uh, did I save too much? Now, you're, how, GW, how can you save too much? Well, you know, you could, there's people out there that are, probably hate their job, right? But uh, they're afraid they can't retire. So they keep working and keep stressing themselves out, keep having uh, more horrible uh, health habits and things like that um, because they're afraid that they can't retire, but they haven't evaluated anything yet. All they know is the experts that might say, oh, you need a million dollars to retire. And they're sitting there with, you know, $400,000 and, um, you know, they're 62. They can collect Social Security and uh, their expenses are actually pretty low. But they never sat down and figured out the math that they probably could have quit, you know, two years ago when they really were tired, was tired of uh, the nine to five grind. So, you know, again, there's my rant. You got to figure out that number, right? And then you got to reverse engineer to try to get there. You can't, you're, if you don't know that number, you're just kind of blindly going down a path, right? And, and, you know, you, there's no light at the end of the tunnel. There's no, uh, there's no finish line. There's nothing, right? You're just kind of just blindly going and going along. So find out that number, reverse engineer it, and you'll, uh, get there, right? Or you can work out a plan to get there. And this is one way to do it, uh, on less, right? Like I gave you my example of my mother-in-law who, uh, lived on $10,000 a year, right? It, it, it wasn't, I mean, this was 10 years ago, but so she got cost of living increases and things like that. And her living situation is totally different now, but 
she lived for a decade, you know, on Social Security check. And that was it. So let's switch over and, and I'm going to sh show you my Google search here real quick. Now all you do is type in how much do I need to retire? And it's funny. It's so much different uh, information out there. Look, there's people that have asked, can you retire on a million and a half comfortably? How much money do you need to retire with 100000 a year income? Uh, how much do I need to retire at 62? Can a couple retire on $3 million? Like, holy cow. And like I said, that, that might not be enough. It could be zero. It could be millions of dollars, right? Um, can you retire with $2 million? Can you retire on 6000 a month? Uh, I like this one. How do I retire with no money? I like that one. And the simple simple answer is have your expenses to be very low, possibly uh, have a part-time job, and collect Social Security. And there you go. That's how you do it. All right. So retire with less. This is, uh, for those of you new here, this is uh, my paper portfolio where I've been tracking uh, $250,000 portfolio, paper portfolio, to see how much income we can generate off of that uh, safely outside of the traditional uh, 4% withdrawal rate um, using uh, income ETFs and or uh, options premiums, right? And um, we're trying to... to uh, generate significant income so that you may be able to retire early on a smaller amount. Uh, and this is scalable too, right? This is $250,000 paper portfolio and you'll see the, uh, the amounts here shortly, but you can scale this, right? If you only had 125,000, just cut the, uh, income that I'm showing brought in in half and then you'll know you know, roughly what you can get with 125,000. So, um, I did this in two separate portfolios, right? $250,000 is going to, uh, uh, have a little bit in an income fund and most of it, uh, using cash secured puts to kind of wheel index funds and things like that. The other $250,000, I just put all into uh, QILD and, um, we're seeing how if that's going to maintain uh, your income over time so far surprisingly it has it's very close though to uh to that breaking point of qild so i really don't recommend an all-in strategy for qild i just think it's uh, a good look to track this and um just so you know that uh all in QILD as a retirement plan and spending all the the distributions from it is probably not going to work out very well long term. So let's get into it. First, we're going to do review uh, February. And uh, I didn't take a screenshot exactly, but basically uh, February's cash secured puts on SOXL and QQQ expired worthless. So these premiums that we collected uh, they just stayed ours, right? We didn't have to take assignment of, uh, any of the, uh, shares of QQQ or SOXL. And then, uh, last month QILD gave us, uh, $2,504 of income. So what I targeted here with this was around $2,600 a month. Um, it was, it started out at 2,500, which is basically 30 grand a year. And, um, I think that's a, an excellent return, right? Um, 30 grand a year plus a side hustle, uh, plus social security, you know, you're making you, there you go. You're making, you know, 50, 50 grand a year. Most people will be able to live pretty comfortably on that. Most normal, regular, average, everyday folks, right? I know I could. I live on 
you know, basically 36 grand now. Uh, and that's, you know, with my wife and a son, raising a son, right? Um, if, if we were homeowners, we can live on probably less than 30, a little less than 30. But since we rent, I say a little less than 30 because being a homeowner comes with different expenses, right? Maintenance expenses and things and taxes and things like that. But being a renter like we are, um, you know, we don't have any of that, but our monthly cost is kind of built in to, to support that. Right. So, um, hopefully I'll be able to get rid of the rent or at least reduce it some in retirement. And that would make uh, our money go quite a lot further. So, um, enough rambling. Let's get on to March and see how we did here. Um, so in March I stuck with SOXL and QQQ. Okay, that's the SOXL is the 3X semiconductor, QQQ is the NASDAQ, and then we own uh, 2,000 shares of the Russell 2000 RYLD. Now on SOXL, I stuck with uh, the $30 strike price, and uh, I, I look at charts to, to see uh, support levels, and if we look at SOXL, right now it has good support. If you look at this, can I zoom in on this? I thought I did already. There we go. Um, right at about 35. Let's see. It actually tells you here. $37. Uh, but I like to be a little bit safer. So if we look at support levels, we can look at this $30 mark right here, right here, right here, right here, and right here. That's a pretty good support level for the stock. Right now it's at 36 and it has you know, a lot of support levels there holding it up. So I like to get down to the safer level. So we stuck with the 30 expiration. It's a short, it's a short month. Uh, April 14th is the expiration. Uh, we sold five contracts of those at the $30 strike. So we need $15,000 to secure these contracts. So if uh, SOXL on April 14th is $30 or under, we would need to spend $15,000 and buy 500 shares because each contract, excuse me, each, uh, each contract is uh, representative of 100 shares. We collected $145 per contract for uh, that obligation to buy at $30 if it's underneath that price on April 14th for a uh, monthly income of $725. Now the QQQ, uh, we had last month, we had a 320 strike, I think, 310 strike. Uh, this month we went up a little bit. We went to 330. Um, markets ran up a little bit. And if we look at the QQQ chart, you'll see it's built support here at 340. I do like the 320 level, um, but there was actually not much premium there to be had uh, at the 320 level. So we kind of split the difference between 340 and 320, and I split it to this level right here, which is the 330. And for that, uh, we got $460 per contract and we did four contracts. So if QQQ is $330 uh, or below on expiration date at on April 14th, we would need to spend $132,000 and buy 400 shares of QQQ at $330. For that obligation, we got paid $1,840. And next, uh, RYLD, we had the 2,000 shares. It paid 24 cents, so it gave us $480 in a dividend. So we need to set aside $147,000 to secure these contracts. The cash is still sitting in our uh, account, uh, but we just need to allocate it just in case for April 14th. So March total. $3,045 of cash received, 
from uh, the cash secured puts and the RYLD for an excess of $445 because uh, I was uh, saying we need to get at least $2,600, right? So uh, we have an excess of $445. So that went into our cash uh, savings because the other part, the 3000 we went and withdrew it and spent it basically, right? That's our, uh, that's our monthly play money. I'm sorry. The $2,600, uh, was withdrew and paid bills and did whatever. So that leaves us with cash in the account of 248,963. Now you're saying, I thought you said this was $250,000. Yeah. You'll have to go back uh, 18 months and show how that has grown uh, to be a little bit more than 250,000, but it did start at 250. Um, so right now we have $248,963 in cold, hard cash sitting in our account. Okay. And we have uh, $47,000 invested in RYLD. That's the only thing we have exposed to the stock market is the investment in RYLD. So uh, 248,963 minus the secured amount. Remember I said cash needed to secure is $147,000. So even though the cash is still sitting in our account, well, this is just earmarked, right? So even if we are assigned all those contracts, all you know, nine of these contracts for 147, we would still have $101,000 sitting in our account in cash, cold, hard cash. And we would own, you know, 500 shares of SOXL and 400 shares of QQQ where we would turn around and start selling covered calls. Okay. Now that's, that's huge to me because, uh, even if we, even if the market crashed, right. And you couldn't sell, uh, say so you couldn't sell covered calls for a while, right? You have a hundred thousand dollars in cold, hard cash sitting in your, uh, account that you can live on while the market, while you can wait out the market a little bit, uh, or you can average down. Um, but a hundred and one thousand dollars, you know, at let's say you needed 36 grand. Say you need 30 grand a year. That's three, three years of income. Of, of a cash cushion. So, uh, I'm liking this side for sure. Now, how did QILD do? Uh, QILD did pretty good. Um, we got a 21 cent dividend for QILD and that gave us a total of $2,604 in income, uh, off of the 12,400 shares. And, uh, that was an excess of $4. So, uh, we got, took the $2,600 and went and, and blew it at the casino. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we paid bills for it with it. And, uh, we're sitting on $1,887 and 89 cents in cold, hard cash. So, um, if QILD, if the market crashes, and QILD says goes to 15 bucks, uh, or less, uh, we would, this would be broken, right? So luckily we've been having, uh, uh it's been just barely keeping up. And, um, as I think it's only a matter of time, uh, possibly that, uh, QILD fails, um, this is just to, for me, this is just cutting it way too close, right? You don't have a cash cushion. You're not, you know, instead of, you know, you got three plus years of cash, cold, hard cash, even if assigned these shares and over here you have, you know, a couple weeks worth, right? So, um, but I mean, it's still producing income month after month. It hasn't failed. Uh, completely. Yes, we've had some short months with the QILD, um, but it hasn't completely failed to where we're uh, uh, going into a negative cash balance. And again, you'll have to go back 18 months in this series and see how it's performed. Um, 
But that's all I got. So those are two ways that you can generate some income. And like I said, um, you know, you can cut these numbers in half. And, uh, you know, could you, if you had 125,000, you know, you can generate another 1500 bucks on your, on your, on top of your, you know, side hustle on top of your social security in a relatively safe way. Um, it's not, uh, I know a lot of people look at options and think it's scary and, um, you know, there could be, I mean, this is why I'm doing this too, right? That's, I I don't, I say 18 months, but I don't know if that's for a fact. I know it's well over a year now that I've been doing this, but that's why I've been doing it. And I keep doing it is to, uh, hopefully we run into a pitfall, uh, to, to see how we would, manage through that right and we really haven't been challenged uh on this side yet and uh, i really don't foresee being challenged especially having such a large amount of cash to fall back on Um, i do envision being challenged here on the qild side and um there's really no exit plan there um there's there's no there's no safety net here, right? If, if the market falls, we're just kind of screwed um, on the QYLD side. So uh, that, that's why I don't, that's why I said I don't recommend QYLD as an all in thing. It could be a piece, it could be a tool, uh, kind of like how we're using it on this side where uh, we have, you know, $47,000 invested in RYLD, uh, giving us, you know, a baseline of, of money every month. Uh, that kind of helps uh, alleviate having to put on so many contracts uh, on the QQQ and the SOXL and, um, you know, maintaining that cash balance and that cash cushion. So um, how much do you need to retire? Anywhere from zero to millions of dollars. You just have to figure out where it is uh, that you fall uh, as far as expenses are concerned in retirement, and then you can back engineer that to what you need to do and what you'll need to retire. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this, please like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff down in the pinned comment down below and the description are ways that you can support the channel. I would appreciate it so much. You guys are awesome. Uh, see you tomorrow on the live stream. Um, you guys have a great weekend. Thanks. Bye-bye. I am not a financial advisor. The information contained in this video is for entertainment and informational purposes only. It is not intended to be investment advice. Please seek a licensed professional for any investment, tax, or legal advice. Thank you.